Good to see you ladies. Who has coffee? I have tea. I have coffee. I got bulletproof coffee. It's like my new obsession. The bullet I can't hop on board with it. It's not really buttery. Have you made it right though? I've never even tried yeah, it. Yeah, I see oh the same thing. Like you put butter in your coffee. No, um, seriously, I thought the same thing because oh. my grandma had heard about it on like some Dr. Oz show. And I was like, butter in your coffee, that's disgusting. And so one day we were just like, okay, we're just gonna give it a shot. I do coconut oil, butter, and then she has like um like collagen protein. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it is like a frothy, creamy latte. It's so good. You would never, it doesn't taste like butter. It tastes, it's not like, I don't like drinking coffee black because it's so bitter. And so this kind of like eliminates the bitterness, but it adds the fat and adds the protein. So you do that instead of like eating breakfast? Mm hmm Yeah, I've been doing like a 12-hour fast from night to morning, and I'll have coffee first thing in the morning after I drink water. Um, but yeah, it just, I'm not hungry really until like lunch. Hmm. Yeah. Know. Don't knock it till you try it. I, on Friday, you can make me some. Okay. <laughs> I don't like coffee, period, so. Yeah, that's true. If you're not a coffee drinker, then you probably wouldn't like it. Erica has been doing it for a long time. Um, you know, and then all the, the keto, that's their big thing is the bulletproof coffee. So I've seen it a lot more posts about it lately. Yeah. It's my new favorite thing. Hold on. Let me turn this light off. So speaking of meal plans, that's kind of one of the things, and I guess you ladies, is what is there anything in particular that you guys want to make sure that we go over, touch on, do? Yeah, this is for you guys. So do you, how do you feel week one, week one went in the group so far, like this new group? I think it went good. Um, I didn't have time, like last weekend I was super busy, so I had a hard time meal planning or prep. I, planned but I didn't get to prep for like the week so that was a little bit of a challenge and then if I worked late I had a hard time trying to figure out what to make for dinner because my husband doesn't like leftover food so I can't really prep dinner for the whole week okay yeah I personally didn't do as well as I would have liked but I think that this new group it has so much participation and so much engagement that it's making me excited. It's keeping me more accountable and it's making me more aware of what I'm doing. Um, and tomorrow I'm going to like Shane and I are sitting down tonight and legit figuring out what we're eating for lunches, what we're eating for dinners. Cause we meal prepped some food, but not like sat down and wrote it out. Um, Cause last week he wasn't working. So he's working this week. And so now we need things on the go and whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel like my issue is definitely, um, dinners. Like I don't like I'll meal prep my lunches and I'll drink my shake for breakfast. But then when I get home, it's like all up to me kind of thing. So I'm kind of thinking to find some type of either like crock pot meals to do for dinners mm -hmm. because it's just like a free for all. And that's when I feel like the most weak is like when I get home and it's like, Ooh, what can I have? <laughs> right. <laughs> What's quick and easy that I can make? That, what's easy that, you know, going to fill me up and so. Okay, so some of the things, Megan, how are you? How was your workout? Good? I can't hear you. I think it's muted. Is it muted? <laughs> We're good? You can type in the comments, too, if you have anything that you want to chat about. Megan's, Megan's a pro. She's double workouts today Ooh. so Megan's actually really good at the on the go stuff because she travels all the time so maybe you can post in the group some of your like travel snacks that you've done um that have been your easy go-to's um like uh, she's like all over the place all the time and stick to it <laughs> every time I, I like live by through her one day she's in can you hear me now yes Okay, so for whatever reason, sorry guys, good morning. <laughs> right. I'm like, it's not on mute. <laughs> I don't know, Some technology does not, my friend. Um, so anyway, would you post in the group like some of your on-the-go stuff that you've gone to? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's, I, 
really, I mean, key for me, right. And key for everyone I think is, is the prep. So all right, you plan ahead, then you're more likely to succeed. And that's where like, I kind of fell off the bandwagon this summer is whatever. We all have different excuses, but I started dating and you know, then it's like two, three times a week, we're going to dinner and then he loves dessert. And it's like, I don't even like dessert, but I don't want to be that difficult girl being like, no, I don't want to have a bite. And then I'd be tired in the morning and yada, yada, yada. So whatever. Now I'm back at it. And I think as much as you can try to plan, um, you know, the best you'll do. I know for me, I'm really boring with food. So I will eat the same thing like all week and it doesn't bother me at all. (laughs) But I know some people don't like to do that. Like for me, spaghetti squash is my thing right now. So I have a salad for lunch and I have spaghetti squash or a salad for dinner. I just swap the two out and I have chicken all week or I'll make breakfast. Um, Something else that's super easy for me is eating sausage because sausage is super quick to cook. Um, And like some steamable vegetables. Those are really quick too. If you meal prep your spaghetti squash, does it stay good all week or does it get like, um, like watery? I mean, it's a little watery, but I just drain it out. It's not bad at all. Okay. That was my big thing because I, I love spaghetti squash, but that was my issue. I was like, oh, is it going to be good by the end of the week? And then am I going to, like, look at it and be like, ew, gross. So I'll just go out for lunch. You know what yeah, I mean? That's not bad. Okay. Let's I'll try that. In some towels. And, Brittany, my husband is like you, um, and, and I kind of am too. Like, we don't like leftovers. So the, the meal preps that I've seen – that are like you eat the same thing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then the other thing Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Like that's not us. Not only are we feeding a family, but like sometimes I'll just if we're eating something, I'll give my kids like eggs for dinner. Like they're getting a protein. So it I don't always have family friendly meals. I'll make chili for us or something. But it's the make ahead component that you can use it in multiple things. So in the beginning of the week, I'll make like turkey uh, burger tacos on Sunday or Monday. That's an easy meal to make, and then I'll make an extra pound of it, and I'll use that for lunch the next couple of days, or I'll brown all the meat, and before I add the taco seasoning, I'll put it aside and just put the meat in the fridge, and then the next day I'll make spaghetti, but I'll already have the meat cooked. There, okay. And like at the beginning of the week, we prep, like we peel and chop carrots. I slice uh, red peppers so that um, we have them for snack, but then if I need to just dice them real quick, it's pretty easy three quarters of the way there so yeah. you're like getting food moved along faster and you're making a plan that's like simpler food on the days you're busy but I do have a bunch of crock pot meals that I will um post in the group too so that is like, I like I will try to make more for dinner so that I can take it to the next day or a couple days um and everything but I know that my husband Jeffrey does not he's not a fan of leftovers and like certain things he'll eat leftover but most of the time he won't eat leftovers mm-hmm. or even something like, I'll like oh, chicken, sorry Nicole uh, like chicken chicken breast and then like chicken salad that stays cold easier you know like the, uh Greek yogurt and stuff mm-hmm. uh, what were you gonna say Megan I was gonna say kind of like how you prep the meat I'll do that with chicken breast and just even if I'm like gone on a weekend, Sunday I'll throw it in at like nine o'clock at night and just put some water and some seasoning and put it on low and then wake up in the morning and the chicken breast is done and that'll just be for my salad. So then I know I can quickly make an egg for breakfast, you know, throw a baggie of whatever carrots and then my shake and the salad and at least till I get home for dinner, everything's prepped. So... Megan, and then I have that chicken breast in the crock pot. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I need to do that. Yeah. Oats, but I've never done that before with chicken. That's a great idea. And then even if I'm not, I mean, it's easy to shred so I can make like, you know, whatever with it, whether it's a salad or. How long do you cook it for? Like what time do you put it on at night for it to be okay in the morning? Like I don't want to overcook it. You know what I mean? And have it be like. (laughs) That's the trick is overcooking. <laughs> um, I, I I don't know, like nine, ten o'clock. Okay. So and then fun. five, six. You know, I'm okay. making sure I'm taking it off. But yeah, drying it out is key. <laughs> is you know making sure it's not dry. Okay. Cool. I haven't mastered that, but I'm not that picky with my meat either. I'll just yeah. eat it. So. Okay. Cool. 
How are you guys doing with your workouts? Are you enjoying them? Yes. How do you guys feel with like your goals for the week? I know some of you like your goals were to just be consistent in your workouts and your nutrition. Um, some of you had actual weight loss goals. So how do you feel you're doing with that? And by all means, don't feel that you have to share. I'm honestly just stuck with my meal prep all week. Like it's really hard for me to do that. Like I, I prep it for the whole week, but then it's rare that I'll eat it all the way till Friday. Like it kind of gets later in the week and then I'm like, ooh, like, and I live or I work, you know, in a pretty busy spot where there's food everywhere. So by the, like, ooh, I could go here, here, here. So I'm like, I'm really proud of that I stuck with my meal prep all week and ate it all week. Good. You know, I love our your text throughout the day. <laughs> <laughs> I need some type of motivation to keep me away from that crap. <laughs> me too. I, I'm, I'm seeing firsthand how crazy that is now. Like we had this big bag of peanut M&Ms and then once that was gone, they replaced it with a Halloween bucket of candy. And I'm like, good grief. No wonder you guys are overweight. Oh, I know. And people every single bring in like trays of donuts and just put them in the break room. And I'm like, come on now. Yeah. So some of the foods that I do like later in the week, um, cause I'm like, when you, when you said that about the spaghetti squash, that's totally how I am that I like, bleh, like a three day roll, four day roll max. Like it won't go past that. Even salads, you know, like having them cut up that early. So like midweek and for the end of the week, have like, eat your, like say you're doing your fruits, eat like your, um, your, berries and the things that go bad faster at the beginning of the week and then save like bananas and apples and grapes that last longer for the end of the week so you can prep them but like those things stay longer like carrots at the end of the week they eat your stuff that goes bad faster first and then get some of the more sustainable things for later something else too for you guys when you're going into the new week and um prepping for Food and whatever. If you guys have a goal and your a focus is your midsection, which a lot of the women, and myself included, I know that that's a focal point for them. Um, make sure that you guys are trying to shoot to have your carbs, like your grains and your fruits, earlier on in the day, and keep protein and veggies later on in the day. That way, your body has more time to burn those sugars off. Just something to keep in mind. That's one of the things. To, I don't know if everybody has the, the like fixate nutrition list, but if you've calculated your brackets and Camille's going to post, um, like if you're on demand, post a video on how to, um, access that, but make sure like a yellow is not a yellow. If it's a, a, you know, Italian bread at a restaurant, that's not a yellow. That's a cheat, you know, like things like that. That's not, Oh, I had a yellow. I'm marking off the list. No, the, the things that are, which that was me. And that was one of the biggest adjustments that I, that I learned from doing this is those small little shifts of learning the foods that help fuel you versus the ones that were keeping the fat in the, my midsection. You know, I can tell now we go and have pizza on a beer. I wake up and I'm like, seriously, muffin top back, you know, but if you had quinoa and a vodka, it would have been different kind of thing. Like, you know, just small adjustments. So make sure you're looking and like, I can post this or if you have, I have the 21 day fix tracker, save it to the background of your phone. If you're out at a restaurant or something, look at, at the list and see what foods they have. And don't be afraid to ask at restaurants and stuff too, to make swaps. I've, you know, I'm like, does your broccoli have butter on it? Well, yeah. Can you make it just steamed? And you know, they usually don't mind doing that kind of, and some of the chefs actually like it better than putting all that crap on the food. Um, but make sure when you're looking at your day and you're tracking your day, you're looking at the list of the foods that are approved foods because these are just the basic foods that you need to fuel your body. And then how many of each new category you should have in your day. So if you guys don't have the 21 Day Fix Tracker app, I highly encourage you get it. Um, I follow it even to this day after four years as a coach because it just helps you to stay mindful of what you're eating and so you're not overeating because it's so easy to overeat on a certain food group and not pay attention to it because we're so mindless about it when we go to snack or whatever. 
Um, so make sure that you guys are tracking too, because that's super, super important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's just my, you know, you'll see such a big shift if you actually do stick to the foods that are on the list in the containers and how many of each one you should have. And then if you are sticking to it exactly 900%, uh, you know, with a cheat meal in there or something, and you're still not seeing the results as quickly as what you want, then, you know, like Cameo said, there are things that we can help you adjust and get to your goals because like after you're doing the same thing for a large amount of time you might need some shifts in there to like reboost your metabolism so mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. do you guys have any questions about the group or meal planning or meal prep or staying on track for the weekend or does everyone just look online for meal plan Honestly, Britt, what I do because meal print meal meal printing meal planning has not been my strong point. It never has been. Um, so I find meal plans on Pinterest, and you guys utilize us as coaches. Utilize your resources. Go to Google. Go to Pinterest. Go to YouTube. Um, use the Fixate Cooking Show on your on demand. But I go to Pinterest, and I will find a meal plan that is within my bracket according to whatever plan or whatever um, program that I'm following. And I just swap out the foods that it uses because it'll have like yogurt and berries for a snack or whatever. I can't have yogurt. So I'm going to swap that out for another protein, but you know what I mean? You're just going to swap it out for that food group, just something else. Okay. That's what I do. That's also what I do. Pinterest, I find, I don't know. It's just easy to research and, Pinterest is a great resource. <laughs> yeah. Good chili. On, on the Teeny Friday site, you can go in and yeah. in their blog, and you can just search too. Um, and in the blog, and there's also a meal planning, a meal planner in there that you can type in your goals and stuff. But if you go and you look on the blog, go to teenybeachbody.com, on the left hand side, it has blog. It has meal plans and preps and like videos that like other coaches have posted or the autumn's done that gives you the grocery list and everything on there. So there's a lot of options. And I just posted in the group, uh, uh, one of the files that I share with uh, my team when they're getting started and it has sheet sheets. It has some meal plans in there. Uh, a lot of my meal plans in there. Um, so feel free to check that out too. Cool. Thank you. So I have a question. Cause I went a little crazy this week <laughs> because I know like I can do it, but that's probably, you know, I need to like ease back into it. Um, with like my company does that boot camp on Mondays and Wednesdays. So I don't know if you, right. If you saw, but I did that crazy thousand rep challenge. So then I was so sore. Mm -hmm. So Thursday I took a day off. So then Friday I was like, okay, now I'm going to double up but I did one and then I'm like, I still can't walk. <laughs> like my hip flexors were ridiculous. Like they still hurt today, but then I did two this morning. So then I like could stay caught up and I'm actually up one workout for the week. I guess my question is like, when I'm that sore, like what should I be doing? Cause I feel like I should still stay active, but Pio. like I, okay. Pio or yoga. Because it's still active, you're still doing something that's a form of physical activity, but you're not super strenuous on your body. Because Megan, I'm the same way. I have Fit Club on Monday, so Monday and Wednesday are always my double days. Um, and by the end of the week, I am completely spent, and my body like hurts everywhere. So yeah. I will do what I can or I will follow the modified version to whatever I'm doing and just like keep it super light, but still go through it. Okay. And I also shift my rest day because there's usually a yoga day built into a lot of the programs. So I'll shift my rest day up. So if it's normally on Sunday, it's yoga. So I'll move it to Thursday and then do Thursday's workout on Friday. And so you're still only doing one a day. You're just kind of shifting around where your yoga day is. Okay. In the overnight, well, you're going to do a lot like that. The, um, the recover and the recharge are amazing in the performance line. When I was doing hammer and chisel, um, like I, I was at a point where I could walk. I would get so stiff in my shoulders and stuff. And the, the recover you do right after 
and it helps you repair all your muscles. And then it makes a huge difference in the recharge you do overnight and it, the, it like overnight repairs your um, muscles. Huge. So. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Is there anything else that you guys wanted to talk about? How do you feel about doing these morning, Saturday morning calls? Just right. like Q&A, accountability stuff. Well, it just worked out, so I feel like I look super cute in this video right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I was late and my computer was dying. <laughs> I didn't get up early enough. I was going to work out. And then, and then, I know. Well, I, I just have to until you posted in the whole like, group, and then that was my notification as soon as I was done working out. And then I saw Megan go, yeah, I'm going to be late. And I'm like, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> Yeah, so all I can think it well, my phone wouldn't even connect to Zoom, so I had to plug in the computer. I don't know what happened with that. And about the spaghetti squash, um, or the squash, um, this week I used my Instapot because it was like 95 degrees, and I highly recommend those. They cooked my squash in like six minutes. I need what? I did all I of that. like 45. <laughs> No, this Instapot that she does, like, you can put anything in there, like, frozen chicken, and it's done in, like, 10 minutes. Where do you yep. get one? I need one. I got it on Amazon last year for Christmas, and I know Nicole was saying that, like, the one she's looking at is, like, 100 bucks. Mine was 80 on Amazon. Cool. It was on Cole, at Kohl's for 100 bucks is one of them. Well, and yours might be bigger. Mine's smaller. I have a smaller family, so... And, and you can get them anywhere. Just wait for them to go on sale and buy it. You can put anything in. Black Friday. I, really soggy yeah, you I was thirty percent off coupon at Kohl's, so I was gonna try to snag one and then just save it for Christmas. Heck yeah, that's sweet. That would save so much time. Or maybe I'll use it and rewrap it. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> energy too, because you're not sitting there for hours and hours. Yeah. And it was on the day that it was like ninety degrees, and I'm like, oh, I'm prepping, and I'm talking to her back and forth, and I'm like, I got the oven going, I'm standing in the kitchen. She's like, Yeah, I threw my stuff in the Instapot. You can come over if you want. <laughs> I did make my acorn squash in the oven, though, because you had to, like, put stuff in it, and I wasn't sure that it would handle its molecular integrity yeah. after the Instapot. So that one I did do, because it was smaller. But right. I it. Making, like, crock pot consistency where it's, like, it's kind of, like, the mushy. If you overcook it. Like, my butternut squash, I made soup because it was... There was no save in it. I mean, you could eat it, but it would have been like mashed potatoes or whatever. It wasn't like I wanted. So I made soup instead. And there's a soup today, too. <laughs> I do that. I'm That's all about cool. trying I'll to look into that. Yeah. How do you guys feel going into the weekend? What do you struggle with most? Staying consistent. Yeah. With workouts or nutrition or both? Uh, nutrition. Okay. If we decide last minute that we're going to go out and do something, and then if we're not, like, home for what I had planned to make or what's that, we do that a lot. Yeah, I'm nervous for, I guess, mainly tomorrow. <laughs> Just because tomorrow I don't really have a plan, which is bad. But I know... I don't know. We're going to be doing something tonight, today. I'm sorry. I've been prepping if it's been noisy. I've been trying to mute it because I'm going up north for the day. So I have like my salad. I just made food. I have my veggies. And then dinner, I'm like, just try to get a grilled chicken or something. Okay. Like tomorrow's meals, I'm like, I don't know what we're doing. We're going to be together. Right. So if I can just try and it's always good to make sure that you guys take snacks with you. Um, veggies and almonds are a good one, making sure that you're taking your shakes with you. But on the weekends, when things happen that are completely unplanned and you don't really know what to expect, you just have to do your best. Um, mm -hmm. And monitor your portions, making sure that most of it is vegetables and protein and not carbs and fruit. Um, but like just doing the best that you can with what you have and giving yourself grace to move forward. And just try to make sure you get your workout in. And, but um, yeah. and I usually like, I, I don't really know what we're doing for the day. 
then I'll not have my carbs for the meals that I do know I'm mm -hmm. doing because most meals when you're out are going to have that carb component in it somehow. So mm -hmm. I'll just make sure that I don't have it for the ones. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like tomorrow, husband. today I don't know what's going on. Um, Jeffrey's at work and then <laughs> I have to go working for a car, but then um, tomorrow I know we're going to the Renaissance Festival, but I don't really like their food there, so I usually don't eat it. Yeah. Um, but then like, I don't know how long we're going to be there and we're going with friends and I don't know if they're going to be like, oh, let's go hang out some more afterwards. Right. Apples are awesome to keep on, on hand. You can throw those in the bottom of your purse. You're actually not allowed to bring any food or beverages into the Renaissance Festival. Can you sneak anything under like your bra? <laughs> well, that maybe, but that, I know my, uh, when we took my niece, they gave my sister a hard time for bringing um, a water bottle because she was breastfeeding. Yeah. Because they, che they checked, like, your bags to make sure you're not bringing anything. Right. Like Girl, I would be shoving some almonds down there and some <laughs> apples, like, for real. Yeah. Can you lay down? Well, you could at least bring your Shakeology packet and then just get a spoon and stir, like, buy water, you know, get a spoon and stir it in. I'm hoping we, we will go af like after lunch and then be there and then leave before dinner. <laughs> right. right. A couple hours in between. And even if you do, again, you're just going to want to monitor what you're eating while you're there. Just watch your portions and not like overindulge. For me, last weekend, I think I posted about this, about going to the buffet with my sister because we had just started this group on Monday. So Saturday, we went out to this buffet, you guys. I have not eaten so much in so long, and I could have been rolled out of that buffet. It was, like, pathetic. So tonight, we have a dinner, a family dinner, again, at a buffet. It's a Chinese, like, sushi hibachi grill buffet. And so I'm making sure that I'm sticking, like, I'm not eating carbs up until this point because I know that I'm going to want them while I'm there, but I'm not going to sit and eat six plates of food I'm gonna have like one salad and a like main course meal and make it so I'm not overindulging and the rest of the week if you know this is coming then you stick to your plan you don't right have to Thursday and you know go out to dinner on Tuesday and stuff to kind of accommodate right and again, you guys, the whole purpose of being in these groups and us as coaches is to teach you that it's a lifestyle and it's not something that you have to be super strict about because like you're going to fall off track. You're going to have a cheat here and there. It's, it's going to happen. It's part of life. You just do the best that you can give yourself grace. And the biggest part is that you're jumping back into it the next day. Well, cool. We have, we're going to run out of time. Yeah, I just got my little like notification for it. So do you guys have any questions before we jump off? I'll post the crock pot meals. Yes. And I'll post my video for um, the on demand. That way you guys know how to use those resources from there. And I know Rachel had wanted, um, who was it that wanted? Somebody wanted um, some like, different ways to, to eat Shakeology. So I'll just create a thread, you know, like different things to use Shakeology. Um, so I posted some brownie things or cookies. Muffins. If you guys have not made brownie better with it yet, you are seriously missing out. So I'll start a thread for that. And if everyone has a recipe, I, I, I like that idea. But if everyone has a recipe, they want to post it in there, then we can just put it in one spot. Cool. Okay. Love Oh. Nicole, you want to take a picture before we get off? Yeah, I can. <laughs> a picture. <laughs> yeah, that that yeah so we can inspire other people with our awesomeness. <laughs> <laughs> on a Saturday morning. The big one. You got a smile, big cameo. You're the big one. One, two, three. Okay, let me make sure that it worked. I'm gonna stop hiding. <laughs> okay, hold on. Sorry about my dog. All right, ready? One, two, three. Okay. Sweet. Yep.
That's good. And make sure that you guys are utilizing the group too for on the weekends, especially if you guys are struggling, like post in the group, somebody is going to answer. Somebody is going to encourage you and keep you motivated and on track. Um, I know me personally, the ladies that I work with have my phone number and I will tell them if there's something that they are seriously struggling with, like text me, I'm, I'm going to answer. Um, so make sure that you are using your coach, make sure that you're using the group like to your advantage because it's here for you for this reason. Yeah. Well, awesome. Thanks for jumping on ladies. I know it's good to see everybody.